Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm very cold. <laughs> I got my scarf on, I look like a little old lady, but I like it. It's one of those days where I woke up and uh, I would really just want to go back to bed and sleep forever. <sighs> That's what the weekends are for. And today's not a weekend. So we're doing another weekly wishlist or washout, which if you haven't seen the series before, I just go through all the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything is a total washout. I have a whole playlist of these videos spanning just about a year now, just over a year of every week this going up. So if you want to catch that, I'll throw it up in the cards. But there's been a ton of new stuff, including a new ABH palette. So let's just jump in. So I feel like I have to start with the ABH palette. So Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette called Riviera. And the packaging looks gorgeous. <laughs> the shades look gorgeous. Colorful, unique. Ah. I would say I was a bit worried when I first saw that bottom row because I thought there was just maybe too many browns. But I see there's actually like a mustard shade, peach shades in here. And the really only neutral shades in here are Palm and Yacht, which I'm excited about. So this is going to be released online March 7th, I think is when it'll go out, like in Sephora and everything. March 4th is when it's going to be released on their website. When it comes to new releases like this, I don't like going straight to the brand's website, so I always wait for it to either pop up at Ulta or Sephora. I gotta see what day it shows up at Ulta. I might pick it up from Ulta this time, just so I can use some of my points, because I know I've got some points saved up. But this is gorgeous. I can't wait to get my hands on it. And let me know if you guys, do you want to see like a three looks one palette? Do you want to see a full palette review? Do you want to see a bingo? Let me know, because... I'm just really excited about this one. And I haven't been this excited about a new palette since the last time I got this excited about a new palette. Jesus. <laughs> BH Cosmetics came out with a new, like, huge palette. And it's just a little bit too neutrally for me. This is the Opalescent, Opalescent eyeshadow palette. It has 24 shades. And I think, that, like, looking at the pants look very, very small. And the shades are just kind of neutrally yeah um i think the packaging is really cute i think if maybe if like you're new to makeup you don't have that many palettes this would be a good one to pick up but if you've been into makeup for a bit you've got all these shades and even if you don't have them in eyeshadows you have them in bronzers you have them in contours right as much as i love bh cosmetics uh i'm not gonna grab that one benefit is coming out with dr feel good a silky mattifying powder I thought about this, but then I read the description and it's like a translucent loose setting powder, so it's not really one, I mean, you could use it to set your under eye, but the way it's described, it's like oil controlling, mattifying, blotting, all that stuff. That's stuff that I would keep away from my under eyes just because that's probably the driest area on my face are my under eyes, and that's really the only way I would use this. I do prefer pressed powders for the most part for the rest of my face, and I do love a nice loose powder just for under my eyes, so knowing what I know now, I'm glad I actually, like, you know, thought about it and read the description, and it's just not going to be a good fit for me. Um, also, they only have one shade, so I guess it's supposed to be translucent, but it, it's pale. It's Casper. So the next mini Zodiac palette came out from BH Cosmetics and it's Pisces and again, it, it is leaning very neutral. You got two blues and the rest are pretty much browns. I see, I, I loved the concept of these like mini palettes, but it, I feel like I'm just being underwhelmed with each palette that comes out. Maybe just because I was so disappointed by the Capricorn one because I really wanted the Capricorn one and it was just brown. <laughs> Who knows, I would definitely pick up one of these if something caught my eye, if it was a little bit more interesting, but so far, yeah. So this is pretty nuts considering they just dropped like a whole new line out of nowhere. Makeup Revolution just came out with a whole skincare line, a whole affordable skincare line. I saw this I think right after last week's Weekly Wow where I talked about that brand from uh, Beautylish. Uh, Good Molecules, I think it's called. This one is, does it have Revolution Skincare, it's just called. So they have a bunch of different peels. They have a rose hip seed oil. It's, it's a little bit more expensive than the one from The Ordinary that I love, but if that one's easier to get my hands on and works as well, I'd be interested in that one. I'm really looking for a nice, 
hydrating like serum to use in the mornings and I'm definitely gonna take a look at this and see if there's anything that would help so I'm thinking they have a blemish and pore refining serum uh, that might be interesting. They also have a skin tone correcting serum, uh, a skin conditioning serum. Uh, da -da -da -da. They also have a fine line correcting serum with retinol. I don't. I have retinol already. I don't really need that one. Uh, but they've got like this whole line of products, and they just like boop dropped it out of nowhere. Ah, so that's pretty cool. I'm really hoping these are gonna be in Ulta. I really want to just like browse the whole line and see. But I don't know if they'll have any shelf space there. So I'm going to look a bit more into it um, and see what products they have and hopefully get to take a look at these in store. Too Faced is coming out with a new shade of their Peach Perfect like loose powder. I got this, I think I bought the kit, like the, I think it was called the Sex and the Peach kit where you got like the loose powder, a setting spray, I think it was a mascara, not sure. But I remember buying that kit before the holidays and I've been using that loose powder and it's actually really nice the only thing i'm not a huge fan of is that it's uh very scented and no matter what you do it's so finely milled that you end up like tasting it <laughs> i don't know if that's just me but whenever i use it under my eyes and on my face i end up tasting a little bit of like super artificial peach and i'm just like Ugh. but it's a good powder and it looks really great on me i love the way it looks under my eyes and i i was kind of surprised that they only had one shade i thought maybe i just got the like a i don't know of whatever shade because i bought it in the kit i didn't even know that it didn't have any other shades so i mean this is a good place to start but we're at the point where you should have had a couple shades when you came out these ones almost got me almost these are some new palettes from viziart it's the one the colorful one man it actually so i'm actually really glad i talked about the new abh palette first because this does look a bit similar to the riviera palette so knowing i'm gonna get that one 100 don't need this one but just knowing my history with viseart shades i've got a ton of them and i never reach for them and i don't i honestly don't think the quality is worth the price that they're charging i think it's a bit expensive i don't like the packaging the shades themselves are just okay but that color story did pull me in it, it's interesting especially that shimmer uh in like the top right hand corner hmm. so yeah i looked at this i was interested thought about it realized i don't use busy art shades and thought better of it Too faced it looks like it's the it looks like Too faced is coming out with a new brush set so these are called the mr right five piece shadow brush set the Mr. Right brush, the one with like a little bow tie on it, is like my favorite powder brush. That's the one I use every day to put on my powder. I've washed it several times. I've had it for over a year at this point and it's held up and I really do love it. I, I would want to feel these brushes if I were to even consider them because honestly just looking at them in that box, they look really scratchy. <laughs> and nothing at all like the Mr. Right brush. So I would need to at least see these in store before I considered it. Not to mention I don't need brushes, but that's just something just because I don't know what it is with like those brown bristle brushes like that. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Where like those kind of bristles end up being scratchy as all hell. Yeah. So I thought it was cute that they're expanding their brush line, but I would definitely need to actually like see and feel these. Probably one of the only people on the planet that's never seen Game of Thrones. Well, that's a lie. My... A good friend of mine in college uh i told him i had never seen game of thrones and he's like what watch this and so i've seen the red wedding scene that's it <laughs> it's the only part of it i've seen i've also never read any of the books i'm actually just getting into out sidebar i'm just getting into outlander i know like 20 years late i know they came the books came out in like the years i was born like, give me some slack but i'm almost done with the first book and i'm pretty obsessed with it i've already ordered the second one <laughs> so I'm gonna read the first three and then start watching the TV show because I heard that's kind of where you need to be to watch that. But okay, back to back to what we're talking about, Game of Thrones. Ugh. So I've never seen this, but I'm really excited to see what Urban Decay is gonna come out with. I feel like they haven't done anything too creative or different in a long time. And this could be a really great outlet for that. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on what this collection may or may not have. It looks like it's coming out in April and it's called the For the Throne Collection. And I think it will look pretty cool, but I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but I'm excited. Another item from Too Faced. Looks like they're expanding their, 
I almost said Juicy Fruit Collection. It's not the Juicy Fruit Collection. What is it called? Tutti Fruity. <laughs> the Tutti Fruity Collection. And they've got like an eyeshadow palette, a face palette. They've got a new like setting spray. I'm not a huge fan of that set. I don't know if I would do that setting spray. But the cute little watermelon palettes. That's cute as all hell. And I, I'm excited, or I really want to see that face palette. Because, you know, I'm a sucker for face palettes, guys. And I want to see what that face palette looks like in better lighting and in person. And if the shades could work for me, I could get sucked in. Because I love a good face palette. And the packaging is adorable. So cute. Meh. So, did you guys hear about this? I'm sure it's the palette heard around the world. Shane Dawson's next, like, documentary series is going to be on how eyeshadow palettes are made from the idea all the way to release they announced it so there's going to be a collab palette i'm probably gonna grab it like just for the for the experience i'm interested to see what colors are going to be in here i know the jeffree star formula everything that i've tried so far i've loved um so i just really can't wait to see what's going to come out i really hope it's better packaging than the alien palette because you guys saw me try to depot that and the it didn't go well. I'm excited. It's I don't know how long it's gonna take. I've heard some people say it takes six months. I've heard some people say it could take up to a year. But I think A, it's gonna be a very interesting documentary series to actually watch. And B, it's gonna be a really cool palette at the end of it. So we'll see. I'm keeping my eyes open for that. Mm, I, I'm probably not gonna buy this because it's so expensive, but it caught my eye. Milk Makeup is coming out with a new Hydro Grip Primer, Hydrating Long Wear Makeup Primer. Hydrating is like my keyword nowadays since my skin has been so dry. <laughs> I've been a little reason up here in the winter, so I've been going for all of my um, hydrating and pore filling primers recently. Uh, and even then, like, um, I've been wearing glosses the last couple of days because my skin is so dry. I cannot even wear liquid lipsticks anymore. Like, after I'm done filming, I'll take off the gloss and just put lip balm on because it's been that dry and that bad. Um, so this caught my eye. It's a gorgeous picture. It looks like a great product. And I just, I don't need, I don't need this. I have a drawer of primers. But I would definitely get a sample just to try it out, get some use out of it. So we'll see whenever it actually comes out in store and I can go see if I can get a sample of it. But 30 bucks for that primer. It looks like you get a lot of product, but still 30 bucks is a lot. These look pretty fascinating. So I guess Lime Crime is coming out with new shades of their, it's called Wet Cherry. This looks like a gloss. Um, they're $18 each. Okay, that's a bit pricey. But I'm very, very interested in like those last two shades, like the yellow and the orange. Because they look gorgeous on all the swatches. I don't know. Like, uh... I probably won't buy these. I just, I've, I was fascinated by the way that those swatches looked because they look gorgeous. 18's a bit much. Nah. Okay, so I'm gonna look pretty silly here. I can't tell if these lipsticks are bullet lipsticks or if they're liquid lipsticks. Does anybody know? <laughs> but that shade Hydro, oh, these are from Sugar Pill, by the way. That Hydro shade... I really want it. This is 18 bucks. I would think about it if I could get it in Ulta and if it was a liquid lipstick. If it's a bullet lipstick, I'm not gonna touch it because I'd never touch them, so... <sighs> I gotta see. It Cosmetics is coming out with a new foundation and the shade range doesn't actually look like garbage. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. Now, I've never really given a full try to anything it cosmetics i think i got a mini of their uh bb cream I honestly can't remember what i thought about it i think i ended up giving it away but i feel like maybe i should go and try out this foundation it's supposed to be long wearing velvet matte that provides full weightless coverage up to 24 hours of wear and hydration so it's supposed to be matte but it's supposed to hydrate you so it sounds kind of like everything i want in a foundation but I'd have to see. So they do have 48 shades. It's $32. Uh, they don't have a date for when it's going to pop up in Ulta. I would definitely wait for it to be in Ulta and I would actually go in to get like shade matched. Violet Voss just came out with a new eyeshadow palette. This is called the Sugar Crystals and honestly I had forgotten all about Violet Voss. 
This does look a little tiny bit similar to the Flamingo palette that I kind of wanted but never really picked up. This one, I'm just like, oh meh. Like, that first row looks gorgeous, but it's just a rainbow palette, and the rest look very uh, muted in comparison. I don't think I would get a lot of use out of this, and it's $42, so I'm, I'm gonna skip this one. Okay, and I think we're gonna leave it there. I need to actually finish getting dressed and be, like, a person that goes to work and does stuff. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know down below what you thought of this week's product, especially that new ABH palette. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.